Hey everyone, my name is Oindrila Chatterjee and I'm a data scientist working in the office of the CTO at Red Hat. In this video, I will show you how you can track metrics from your machine learning experiments and runs using Kubeflow pipelines and Elira. Kubeflow pipelines is a platform for building and deploying scalable machine learning workflows. It allows us to automate the running of Jupyter notebooks and scripts using a simple workflow. To see an example of how you can create an automated workflow for your machine learning notebooks using Kubeflow pipelines, you can check out the description for a video demo. So for the purpose of this demo, you need an existing Kubeflow pipeline configured with components such as notebooks or scripts for which you want to track metrics. So as you can see here, we have already configured a Kubeflow pipeline using Elira, which consists of two notebooks. The first notebook is the demo one create tables and the second notebook is demo one join tables. So using the example of the notebook demo one create tables, we will discuss how you can configure the notebook appropriately to track metrics during the execution of this notebook. So firstly, to enable tracking of metrics during the execution of this notebook, the notebook must have an output component called mlpipelinemetrics.json. So in this notebook, we declare a file where we want to store the captured metrics, it must always be named mlpipelinemetrics.json, and it should be a JSON serialized metric dictionary, which consists of all the metrics that are captured during the running of this notebook. Next, let's see an example of a metric that we are capturing during the running of this notebook. So as you can see here, we uh, capture upload df1 time, which is essentially the time taken to upload a Parquet file to S3 storage. Uh, we are also capturing other metrics such as the time taken to execute a certain create table query, and we call that time to create table one. So once we have declared variables for each metric that we want to capture during the running of this notebook, we want to aggregate all of those metrics into a metrics dictionary. So here we aggregate the metrics captured into a dictionary called metrics, and the dictionary essentially consists of each metric that we are capturing. Uh, we give a name of the metric, uh, the variable name, and we can choose uh, the format to be either raw or one of the predefined formats supported by Kubeflow. So once we have defined the metrics dictionary, we can save and export the metrics dictionary onto the metrics file path, which we defined earlier. So once we have the notebook configured to track these metrics, let's trigger the Kubeflow pipeline and see the metrics being captured in action. So to run the pipeline, I can go to run pipeline select the Kubeflow Pipelines runtime, which we have already created, and hit OK. So upon submitting the pipeline, clicking on Run Details, we are taken to the Kubeflow Pipelines UI, where we can see the running notebooks and debug any logs during the execution of this notebook. So as you can see here, the notebook has already started executing any logs that are generated during the running of this notebook are seen here. Once the notebooks have run successfully, it should look something like this. To view the captured metrics during the running of these notebooks, we can go to run output where we can see a metrics table which captures all of these metrics for the two notebooks in this pipeline. Now to compare runs, uh, within an experiment, we can go to the experiments tab, go to all runs, where we can see each run to compare two runs or more. We can select those runs, click on compare runs, and here we can see an overview and a table comparing the various metrics between all the different runs. 
This can be especially helpful when you're tracking multiple model training runs and can also be used to capture model performance metrics. So that was it for the demo. Happy experiment tracking.